Atlantic Zayden Smith among the champions here today at the Rowland Dyer Invitational. Uh, Aiden, I'm sure when you put on the Atlantic single, this is a tournament you want to win and you do it today. What are the thoughts? Um, I mean, I went out there, wrestled hard, had a little scare in the semifinals, but I think my mentality was there. I went out there, wrestled hard, got into a tough situation, but I just kept fighting and then wrestled hard in the finals and just kept moving and came out on top. You mentioned the semifinal. Uh, I mean, you were up, I think, 7 nothing. Um, I look down, I look up, you're on your back. Now, you get out of it, but, like, how much of, like, a wake-up call was that for you going into the, to the finals and, I guess, finishing the semifinal as well? I mean, it was a pretty big wake-up call. I knew he was a thrower. He went upper body. I was trying to just push him out of bounds. Um, I gave him a little too much pressure, and he threw me. But, I mean, like I said, mentally I was there, and I didn't give up myself. I just kept fighting and didn't give up and got out. Looked like you were locked in during the finals match. Uh, I imagine the semifinal probably helped that. What, what worked in the finals? Um, to be honest, I think one of my teammates just told me to slow down, reminding me that I don't need a rush things and I can go the whole six minutes and going out there and wrestling hard. So I did that and it paid off in the end. What were the things offensively today that you felt like you were able to get to and, and do well? Um, definitely my setups and getting to my shots. I've get, over the summer I've worked on that and I've gotten tons better on those and tons better on just moving and uh, I'm not stopping during my match and just wrestling hard. I know you've got lofty goals and you're wrestling really well right now. Uh, I mean, how are you feeling and, and what's kind of the thoughts moving forward? I mean, I'm feeling great. Uh, when I made 126 at uh, the beginning of the season, I wasn't really feeling that good. But ever since I started holding it down there um, and getting weight off way easier than without going out and wrestling um, like who I am and just wrestling tough and being able to wrestle my full potential. Underwoods, Carson Thompson among the champions here today. They're all in dire invitational in Atlantic. Uh, Carson, that's a tough field. So for you to come out on top, uh, I mean, what are the thoughts? How does that feel? I mean, it feels pretty good. I've been training all year for this. Just want to get my name out there more. But it's working hard every day. Uh, when you know that you're going to a tournament like this and you're going to see really good competition, does that maybe bring a little bit more out of you? When you look at the bracket, you're like, okay, this guy's good. This guy's good. This guy's good. I mean, not at all. I know that I'm pretty good. Like, I can compete with all these guys, but I just got to know that I can do it myself. Like, just do the best that I can. Wild and entertaining finals match. Uh, take us through it. I mean, I couldn't get to my shots, you know, but my scrambling was the best, you know. I could scramble from anywhere pretty much, just doing the best that I can, but got bigger stuff to focus on right now. So that's just a little milestone, but. You mentioned the scrambling. I mean, that's something that, you know, I think every Thompson has been able to do really well. Uh, I mean, how important is that? I mean, it's very important. I mean, guy gets to your legs, you gotta have some way to get out of it. Why not score out of it? Why, is, like, why not? Uh, I mean, tight match. Where do you feel the difference was for you today in that finals match? I mean, I knew that I was tough. Like I can grit through the matches and I know that I can win, I believe in myself. I know that I can do the best that I can ever. I think back to, you know, like your sophomore year, if I remember correctly, the season didn't kind of end the way you wanted it to. Yeah. Since then, it seems like you just keep getting better and yeah. better and better. Where's that coming from? I mean, our room is crazy. We got Maddox Nelson, Lucas Bowes, Blake Allen. He's hurt right now, but he's still a great partner. Our room is absolutely crazy. Just so many hammers in there, ranked highly. Our coaches are really good. Uh, Trevor Paulson, the man, he was getting me on some, knows how to defense, so he's teaching me more, but I love it. You mentioned that you know this isn't the end goal. It's obviously nice to win a tournament like this, but you've got, you've got bigger fish to fry, hopefully. What's it gonna take to do that? More hard work, that's all I can say. Well, Bo Kuda with Sergeant Bluff Luton along the champions today at 157. Uh, Bo, you know, this is a really good field to win this. I'm sure it's got to feel pretty good. Thoughts on the day? Uh, yeah, there was, that finals match was tough. You know, I had all tough matches. You know, turning kids was a little bit tougher today than usually Normie was. But, yeah, I was glad I could get that one and tough it out. You know, <laughs> the kid in the finals tore my buddy's ACL last year, so it felt good to revenge him and get that win last year. To you know, you have a tough field like this. Um, you're coming off Christmas break, where you probably worked your tail off throughout the, the break. To win a tournament like this, how much of a confidence booster is that? Uh, it's pretty. You know, my uh, coach said today 
that uh, this is the probably second toughest tournament in the regular season next to Council of Classics. So catching the W today was it felt pretty good. Your finals match, uh, I feel like early on, um, neither one of you guys get anything going. And then that third period got kind of crazy. Take us through it from your perspective. Yeah, I mean, in the first period, you know, you're both at 100% stamina. You know, it gives you both ready to do whatever it needs to take to either defend or score a shot. So I feel like we were both a little hesitant on our shots. I know I was for sure. You know, he's a talented wrestler. And then, you know, I really didn't want to go to overtime. So I kind of pushed the place. I'm sure he was thinking the same thing. So I tried everything, you know. I. Thankfully got that too and caught his ankles. Sucks I got locked hands, but ended up toughing it out and keeping him down. When you reflect on your overall performance today, what's the one thing you liked the most? Uh, that I it was a little more higher paced, you know. This uh, during break and in the, the room before season, you know, on, on Thursday I was kind of slower with my feet and wasn't really getting to my stuff. And I feel like today I kind of upped the pace with that stuff and was able to get my shots better and kind of kept the pace a little bit higher. Good start to what's going to hopefully be a busy six or seven weeks for you. Uh, I mean, where do we go from here? How do you try to build off the successes of today? I mean, yeah, we have the map boss that we always watch. So go off of that, you know, depict everything that we watch in there and make sure we perfect and keep perfecting everything that we do. So go from there and keep battling. Oh, Glenn, what's Mason Kohler among the champions here today, the Rollin Dyer Tournament? Uh, Mason, it was a dominant day for you. Uh, I mean, I know you're used to those, but a big day, kind of what were thoughts? You know, I feel really good about how I wrestled today. I've been working in the room really hard, just looking forward to all these big tournaments, and I'm really proud of how I wrestled today. I think one match went past the first period. Uh, was that the plan, to just kind of go in, take care of business, and, and get out of here without breaking a sweat? Um, I don't think really get out of here without breaking a sweat. I wanted to... I definitely knew there was going to be some tough guys coming in. I wanted to see how my best could really stack up against them, and I feel like I did pretty well. Yeah, speak to that. What did you do offensively that allowed you to kind of make quick work today? Just keep everybody moving. A lot of guys don't like to keep moving. They like to slow down a little bit, but I just did my best to keep them moving. I know uh, in talking to you, you know, throughout the last year or so, uh, I mean, you've kind of had to hang your hat on your technique, maybe being a little undersized. Uh, as a sophomore at 215, how do you feel the technique was today? A um, bunch of things I can improve on, as always, but I'm really proud of how my technique worked today. Yeah. Thoughts on the season as a whole right now? You know, goals to win a state title. Always is. So I'm really proud of how I'm doing so far, but I can improve going forward and I plan on dominating. Atlantic 7, Sorensen among the champs here today at the Rollin Dyer. Uh, Evan, I'm sure when you put on the Atlantic singlet and you wrestle in Atlantic, uh, it's a goal to win this tournament. And you do that today. Uh, what are the thoughts? Uh, it's definitely a bit more of a goal to accomplish this one since it is a home tournament. It's just, you just got to win. That's all it really is for me. It was, I had some good matches today. Uh, yeah, speak to your day and, and what you did well. Uh... I got matches over quick. <laughs> it's always good, uh, and I know that's kind of like what you want is, you know, you see that a lot in the heavyweight class. I think your finals match was like 19 seconds 17, or 17. Yeah. Uh, take us through that to the best you can. Um, so I didn't want to tie up with him straight away because I had watched a few of his match beforehand, and he just threw kids. So I came in a little subtle, uh, got him into a headlock, snapped him down, and then just put him in a cradle from there and rolled into his back. Offensively, what did you feel like you did well today? I didn't really shoot much. I feel like my get the defense head, like defending head tosses today was a pretty big one. Feels like over the last year, year and a half, you've really taken it up a notch. Where is that improvement? Where's that come from? I do a lot of off season stuff. I go to Powerhouse and I wrestled in Florida this summer at uh, the Disney Scholastic Pool. So. Sure, you got big goals. Uh, you know, we get into January, things get kind of crazy. What What is the approach, and, and how do you try to put yourself in a good spot going forward? Just uh, keep winning matches, keep gaining experience, get ready to win state.